a day of celebration. This is a day of adoration. Our Savior got up from the grave with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. Can you clap your hands in celebration? Can you blow your horns in celebration? Come on, let's give God the praise. Let's give him the glory. until after 2 p.m. today. And I don't know about you, but he gave us power over the elements. Hallelujah. If the prophet can call down fire from heaven, and if the prophet can release the rain, then certainly we can hold up the rain. You don't know how much power you have. Hallelujah. But I dare you to use what God gave you. He said he gave us power over all the power of the enemy. He said, nothing shall by any means hurt us. Amen. To our scripture this morning, Isaiah the 53rd chapter, verse number 3 through 5. The Bible says, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Verse number five, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes, we are healed. Amen. And to our New Testament scripture from Matthew the 28th chapter, verse number one through six. The word of the Lord reads, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his rain with white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. Verse number six is why we have Easter resurrection celebration. He is not here. For he is risen, as he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay. I want to use for a topic this morning after our song, our praise and worship service, when time stands still. That's what I want to preach about in just a few minutes, when time stands still. Let us receive Sister J. Era Pryor, amen, our minister of music, as she ushers us into the presence of the Lord. May God bless you. Praise the Lord, saints, wherever you are. You can put your hands together if you're in your car, or if you're out. Thank you. 
not gotten up from the grave, I would still be in my sins. If he had not gotten up from the grave, I would have no hope. If he had not gotten up from the grave, hallelujah, there would be no future. But because he lives, oh, come on and celebrate the Lord. Oh, come on and blow your horns in his presence. Come on and bless your life. Come on and lift your voice. Oh, celebrate the Lord. I needed a savior. You just don't know. Hallelujah. Oh, but because he lives, I can live. Because he got up, I can get up. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. I'm trying to move on, but there's something stirring down on the inside. Ah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Something on the inside. Working on the outside. Oh, what a change has come into my life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not only did I need saving then. But every day of my life, I still need the Lord to save me. Every day of my life, I still need His touch. Every day of my life, I still need His grace. Every day of my life, I still need His mercy. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. You may not know my story, but just know that he saves. To the utmost, he saves. Hallelujah. I don't care how bad your situation is, he saves. I don't care what you've done in the past, he saves. I don't care what you'll do in the future, he still saves. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter whether you say Jesus or whether you say Jesus. Uh, he's not deaf. He can hear the low Jesus. He can hear the high Jesus. But you have to call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. everything all right everything 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 let me get to the business of the day amen hallelujah i got the glad glads this morning hallelujah 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 songwriter said when nothing else could help love lifted me ah yes lord i was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry. From the waters he lifted me, now soul saved am I. It was love that lifted me, his love for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to let you know that you're in the right place at the right time for a right now miracle. When you decided to come this way this morning, God began to move in your life. When you decided that you're going to go and hear the word of God, the Lord began to move by your faith effort. Hallelujah. God is not moved by your emotions. God is not moved by your money, but he's moved by your faith. Said on several occasions, your faith has made you whole. Hallelujah. And faith don't cost a thing. Oh, okay, it's not even in my message today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody already has their breakthrough. Somebody, God has already turned it around. Somebody, God has already laid away. Hallelujah. Let me say that if, if you would like to share an offering, we're not here to receive money, but if, only if you would like to, re, like to share an offering, the deacons are going to make an envelope uh, available to you. They're going to lice all the envelopes before they give them to you. Amen. We ain't spreading no coronavirus because this virus is taking out the high and the low, and we don't want to play with that. Amen. But we thank you for your time and attention this morning. Amen. And as we always say, you can give your offering as you exit the parking lot today. From the word of the Lord, uh, our message today is when time stands still. Say that with me. When time stands still. Amen. Just three days ago, our Savior was crucified for the sins of the world. Yet this was not the completion of the work of salvation. As we remember in Romans the 10th chapter in verse number 9, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You're believing that God raised him from the dead, not that his body was stolen, not that he came up missing, but that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. This is uh, the third day, and it's vitally important to the salvation of the world. It's in Romans, the fourth chapter, in the 25th, 25th verse, we discover that Jesus Christ was delivered for our offenses and raised again for our justification. Justification is not something you earn. It's simply something that God says you are. By your confession and belief, uh, the Lord says justified. Not by your acts, not by your money, not by your influence, not by your education. 
but by your confession and your belief, hallelujah, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Understand that the whole creation wasn't fit to live and wasn't ready to die, so we needed a Savior. No one on earth could deliver us from sin. No one on earth qualified to die for the sins of the world because all were sinful. Oh, but God had a plan. Somebody say, God had a plan. God had a plan. God had a plan to redeem us back to him. 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter and the 24th, 21st verse. It says, for he hath made him, Jesus Christ, yes. to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I want to let you know today that you've got it made. Come on, say with me, I got it made. I got it made. Hallelujah. This verse says we've been made the righteousness of God in him. Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us. Everything humanity struggles with, Jesus became it. Frankly speaking, he became it, but he never was it. Mm -hmm. I want you to ponder on that for a second. He became everything that we were, yet he never was the thing that we were. Now, let me prove it to you. He became hate, but he was never a hater. Come on, testify to the word today. He became murder, but he was never a murderer. He became fear, but he was never scared. He became lying, but he was never a liar. He became gossip, but he was never a gossiper. He became depression, but he was never depressed. He became adultery, but he was never an adulterer. He became addiction, but he was never addicted. He became sin. But he was never a sinner. Come on, give God some praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus took everything that was against us, yeah. and according to Colossians 2 and 14, he nailed it to the cross. I'm so glad that he took my sins away. Are you glad that he took your sins away? Are you glad that he made a difference? Are you glad that he was able to handle it? Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. It was no goodness of our own, but he took away our sins and gave us righteousness in exchange. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God to come down from heaven and to take away what we struggled with and give us what we so desperately needed. Jesus was crucified on the first day. I just want to set the stage here for you. He was crucified on Friday, as it were. Yeah. Amen. He was, uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 53 and 3, as we heard, he is despised and rejected of men. In my mind, I can imagine that time stood still. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I can imagine uh, that this man who had come to save the world is now dead. I can imagine that the people had just stopped in their tracks and uh, time stood still in their lives. In the eyes of the people, their long-awaited Messiah was now dead. Their livelihood was now in jeopardy. This same Jesus that turned water into wine. This is the same Jesus that restored sight to the blind. This is the same Jesus that caused the lame to walk. This is the same Jesus that cleansed the lepers. This is the same Jesus that caused the deaf to hear. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Can you testify with me? This was the Jesus that did all of these miracles. Yet he's now dead from the hanging on the cross. This same Jesus that raised the dead is now dead. This same Jesus that preached the gospel to the poor. When time stands still, it shakes up everything around it. Amen. Their hopes were dashed. Isaiah 53 and 4 says, surely, somebody say surely. Surely. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Their future is now in question. The Bible even says that there was darkness from noon until 3 p.m. When time stands still, the mind goes into a shock. When time stands still, everything around you begins to spin and nowhere, uh, hallelujah, you can't find peace anywhere. You can't find solace anywhere. You can't find help anywhere when time stands still. Uh, Peter is denying that he knows Jesus. The veil in the temple is rent in two from top to bottom. When time stands still, 
the world stops turning. As if this day wasn't bad enough on day one. The disciples and believers had to endure day two. Now day two is filled with silence. Hallelujah. Judas has now hung himself. And the disciples are in what they call a quarantine. Uh, can anybody testify about quarantine? The disciples are now in hiding. The disciples can't come out in public. The disciples are fearing for their lives. Uh, I don't know about you, but to me, that's when time is standing still. In my sanctified imagination, doubt and dismay are trying to creep back in. Y'all won't testify with me today. Amen. Restlessness is occupying the mind. Perhaps they are perplexed and almost in despair. Perhaps they are cast down and almost destroyed. And then comes day three. Somebody say day three. Day three. Day three early in the morning. We see Mary, Mary coming to the grave site. I don't know what they expected, uh, but this is what happened. In Matthew 28 and 2, it says, Behold, there was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and then he sat on it. Can you imagine arriving at the grave site? expecting to see a sealed tomb and you see an angel sitting on a stone to me that's when time stands still you come into the gravesite and an earthquake breaks out to me time is standing still come on and give the lord some praise hallelujah hallelujah his countenance was like lightning his raiment was white as snow when you see what you've never seen before time begins to stand still I don't think, I don't know of any of us around here that's ever seen an angel sitting on a stone in white rain men. We've seen some things. Well, but you ate some pork that night and dreamed a bad dream. You've seen some things, but you were drinking boom farms a few hours earlier. You've seen some things, but you had a little tip of Ciroc. Where's, what's your drink? Uh Uh-huh. Moscato? Uh Uh-huh. Uh huh. Be jolly by golly, drink gallo wine. I'm gonna hit it in a minute. Amen. But none of us have ever seen an angel standing or sitting on a rock. Amen. And Bible says in verse four, of Matthew 28. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. These were the guards that Pilate had put there to guard the tomb, and they were in a state of shock. When time stands still. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. Time is still standing still. Oh, come on, give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. The angel is saying, I know what you're looking for. I know you're still looking for Jesus, the Savior of the world. I know you're still looking for the King of kings. I know you're still looking for the Lord of lords. I know you're still looking for the healer. I know you're still looking for the deliverer. I know what you're looking for, but he is not here. The angel is saying, I know that you're looking for wonderful. I know you're looking for counselor. I know you're looking for the mighty God. I know you're looking for the Prince of Peace, but he is not here. Come on and say with me, he is is. not here. here. For he is risen. As he said, just like he said he would, he got up from the grave, just like he said he would, he died for the sins of the world, just like he said he would, he saved us, just like he said he would, he redeemed us, back unto God, oh come on give the Lord some praise, hallelujah, I feel like running right now, I feel like dancing right now. He's no longer in the grave, but he got up. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, bless the Lord. Come on, blow your horns. Come on, bless your life. Give God the praise. Just like he said he would. He rose from the dead. Just like he said he would. He's alive again. Just like he said he would. He rebuilt the temple. Hallelujah. But when time stands still, it looks like we're down for the count. When time stands still, it looks like we're going out of here. When time stands still, it looks like the enemy is winning. When time stands still, it looks like all hope is lost. 
When time stands still, God is still on the throne. Yes. When time stands still, we may be down, but we're never out. Yes. When time stands still, yes, it looks like we're perplexed, uh, but we're not in despair. Yes, when time stands still, it looks like we're cast down, but we're not forsaken. Yes, when time stands still, oh, give God the praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. I don't know if you've ever been there. Have you ever been there when time stands still? Get rocked by the death of somebody you love. Get rocked by trouble, trials, and tribulation. But don't worry when time stands still. Isaiah 40 and 29 gives us hope when time stands still. He says he give power to the faith. Anybody need a little power this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He give power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Anybody need a little more strength this morning? Anybody need a little more Jesus? Anybody need a little more joy? Anybody need a little more of what the Lord has? Oh, come on and celebrate him today for what he has made available to us. Hallelujah. He said, even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, I just want to tell you today, when time stands still, just wait upon the Lord. When time stands still, don't you go nowhere. You stay where God can bless you. You stay where you can get a prayer through. You stay where God can fill you with joy. You stay where God can fill you with peace. Oh, give him praise today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I want you to know that Jesus, somebody shout Jesus. 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 Jesus is alive and well. Jesus is no longer in the grave. Jesus is still, hallelujah, alive today. When time stands still. Jesus is still alive. When time stands still, Jesus is still working on your case. When time stands still, Jesus is still powerful. Jesus is still wonderful. Jesus is still mighty. Jesus is still love. Jesus is still peace. Jesus is still everything that you need him to be. When time stands still, Still, come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 During this COVID-19 quarantine, it appears that time is standing still. Can't go where you used to go. Can't do what you used to do. You can't be who you used to be. But it's only for a season. Hallelujah. It's only for a little while that we have to be in this quarantine situation. While we're in quarantine, we're certainly not disconnected from the Lord. We're not dis disconnected from his peace. We're not disconnected from his power. We're not disconnected from his love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It seems like time is standing still. You're still dealing with sickness and sadness. You're still dealing with stress and deep concern, but... I heard the Bible say in John 11 and 25, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I don't know about you today, but the Lord loves you. The Lord is concerned about you. The Lord is there. He said, the Bible says that he's a very present help in trouble. I don't know what trouble you're facing, but he's a present help. He's not a long distance call away. He's right there to hear. He's right there to heal. He's right there to deliver. He's right there to lift. He's right there to provide. Trust him. Believe in him. Lean on him. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that Jesus rose from the grave. And at the end of that, Matthew 28. He says, all power. Somebody say, all power. all power. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. I want you to 
Look at your connection with God. If there is lack, check the connection. Amen. On this past Wednesday night, the power in the building went out. Amen. The, the, we were in the middle of the broadcast and the power just went out. We tried to get it back and the first thing we began to do was check the connection. Check the source of the power. And on Thursday, I had to call the city and tell them that the power inside the building is good. But you need to check the transformer. And while I was here on Thursday, uh, the man came by in the utility truck. And I told him the situation. And he took out a pair of binoculars. And he looked right down there at that transformer. And he said, I see your problem. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm sitting here now, you know I'm just a preacher and I, I'm not an electrician. So I didn't know what the problem was, but I knew the problem wasn't me. Amen. Hallelujah. And so he said, I, I, I see your problem right now. I said, how can you see your, the problem way down there? How can you tell? He said, because I got binoculars, I can see and I know what to look for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you know what to look for. Hallelujah. The Lord knows what to look for in your life. The Lord knows how to fix your problems. The Lord knows how to fix you. The Lord knows how to make everything all right. Hallelujah. And so we have one other thing left to look forward to, and that's the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I admonish you today, be ready when he comes. Check your connection this morning. Make sure the problem is not in you. Hallelujah. I want you to pray with me this morning. I want you to understand that before you can have power, you need to have a connection. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins, you need to know him. I already gave you the scripture, Romans 10 and 9, that if thou shalt confess with your mouth and shall believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And he said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Will you bow your heads in the presence of the Lord with me? Hallelujah. Just to make sure that everybody has a connection, will you repeat this prayer with me, Lord Jesus? Lord Jesus. I come to you. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sins and transgressions. Lord Jesus, I confess you with my mouth and believe you in my heart. I believe that God raised you from the dead by this confession and admission. I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence now. We thank you, Lord, for this worship service today. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you that when time stands still, that you're not still. We thank you that when everything around us is in chaos that you're our peace we thank you that when we're weak you make us strong we thank you that when we're low you bring us up thank you lord for this resurrection sunday thank you that jesus christ got up from the grave with all power in his hand and then lord he says he gives us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Lord, I pray today that you will seal this prayer. Lord, I pray that you will seal each and every one of us. Write our names in the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your peace, your joy, your love, your everything. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are mighty. Yes, Lord. And Lord, I thank you for holding up the rain. You. Oh, you're an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
thank you for the power and the privilege of prayer. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we have no fear, for you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Lord, I pray right now for everyone that is affected by this COVID-19, by this coronavirus. We declare healing in the land. We declare healing of minds. We declare healing of bodies. We declare healing of souls. Let us not miss the cardinal call to come to you. Lord, you said, come unto you, all we that labor and are heavy laden, and that you would give us rest. You said, take your yoke upon us and learn of you, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We receive everything that heaven has to offer. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Will you seal this with the praise? Hallelujah. Will you clap your hands in the presence of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, give the Lord praise. Come on, blow your horn. Come on, bless your life. We thank you for joining us for this Easter Resurrection Sunday 2020. May the Lord bless your life. Hallelujah. Not only this day, but every day hereafter. God bless you. We love you. Until next Sunday, I see you. Hallelujah. In the future. And you look much better than you do right now. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you one and all. Thank you for joining us. Amen. I ask that you keep.